Here, what do you mean bursting in here like a ninny? Harley Hatfield, sir. Don't you remember his travel orders that he was being shipped here for two weeks temporary duty? Oh, Harley Hatfield, so what? So what? Why, sir, he's the number one singer in the country. Lay that pistol down, baby. Lay that pistol down. Please, please. A pistol packed up. At this minute. What's the matter with you wiggling like that in front of your commanding officer? <laughs> All that racket out there. A little crowd is gathering to welcome Harley Hatfield. Well, they are, huh? Let's we'll see about that. All right, all right, all right. What's going on here? Is this a naval base or is this the stage door at the Paramount Theater? Well, that's an easy one, sir. Naval base. <laughs> What are we doing? Shutting down the war because some two-bit crooner showed up here? Oh, he's not a crooner. He swings. Haven't you ever heard him, sir? You know, lay that pistol down, baby. Lay that pistol down. Pistol. You stop that. All of you, stop that right this minute. Carpenter, put them all on report. All of them. Yes, sir, I will. As soon as I get his autograph. Get out of my way. Stand back here. This is your captain speaking. Mr. Hatfield, please. Carpenter, you're great. Well, I'll see here, sailor. Seaman Hatfield reporting for duty, sir. As you were. All of you. Now, this is a naval base. Howdy, ladies. I just love you. Ah! Captain, you ought to be ashamed of yourself. Don't just stand there, McHale. Help me with this load. <laughs> Complete on the phone. They said not a single one of the dispatches that I sent this morning has been received. Now, how do you account for that? Uh, very simply, sir, because none of them have been sent yet. What? Oh, sir, the Radio Shack has had more than it could handle this morning. Harley Hatfield had to contact his agent three times. His agent? Oh, yes, sir. And he had to also contact his tax man and also get in touch with his record company about his royalties on Chowderhead Blues. Chowderhead Blues. Carpenter, how dare you let an ordinary seaman use a radio shack? Oh, but, sir, he's not ordinary. He's Harley Hatfield. Why, I heard that he sold over one million dollars in war bonds. I don't care what he sold. Why wasn't he assigned to duty with the rest of the personnel? Well, sir, I asked him what he'd like to do, but we had to rule out quite a number of things because he doesn't get up until 10 in the morning. <laughs> 10. Up by 10, is he? Well, then why don't you loan him my Jeep? It's nice to go surfing at that time of day. Sir, I'm glad you said that because that's just what I did. You lent him my Jeep? Are you mad? Oh, no, sir, no, sir. It was a very fair trade because, sir, he left you an autographed copy of his latest hit, Chowderhead Blue. See, he signed it right there. He did. Now, Carpenter, you get this and you get this straight. I haven't received any special orders on Hatfield, and he is to be treated just like any other sailor, and that's an order. Yes, sir. And as for this, one chowderhead deserves another. Isn't it 
exciting, having a celebrity on base? Yeah. He's got, got a piece of paper. Well, I don't know. Let me see. Uh, got some here What's somewhere. going on over there? Why, 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 why? Uh, we're well, friends of Harley Hatfield, sir. Yeah, uh, hey, oh, hi, Captain. Can I borrow this? I want to get his autograph. You ninny. Hatfield. Uh, sorry, folks. That's all for now. Brad! Oh. Going, sir. Are you all right, sir? I'll never be all right till I get rid of that Hatfield. Get rid of him, sir, but he's a star. A star? That goon is a star? He's a menace with sideburns, that's what he is, an eight ball. Speaking of eight balls, Mikhail, maybe I just solved my problem. I'm going to assign him to you. Oh, wait a minute, Captain. You, you can't transfer him, Noss. Well, he'll really fall up our base. Well, on your base, it'll never be noticed. Hey, fellas, lay those pasteboards down. We've just struck oil. Hey, what's up, Will? The skip and Parker just landed with Harley Hatfield. He's going to be bunking with us. Harley Hatfield? The movie star, Hi. Mr. Happy Hips? Wow! Where's the oil coming? Use your imagination. We're going to put on a show. We'll sell tickets, he'll sing, and during intermission, we can unload that trunk full of hooch at five bucks a bottle. Hey, well, clean up. Hey, what a break. Hey, Skip, isn't this terrific? Where is he? Hey, yeah, listen, where's All Harley? right, all right, calm down, boys. Now, look, let's get one thing straight here before anything else happens. Where would you like this stuff, sir? Oh, just put it right down there, Sonny. Here's something for your trouble. Hey, Skip, five bucks. I already told you, Chuck, that's an Ensign's uniform you're wearing, not a bellhop's. And quit tipping the officers, will you? Say, uh, Harley, old salt, you can have my bunk. Anything else you want to make you happy, just name it. Oh, Take mine, hey, 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 Thanks, fellas, but I'm just happy being here with you fighting men. And I finally found a place where nobody expects me to put on a show. Skip, that is absolutely 100% correct. Nobody, but nobody around here expects you to do anything but your share of the work. Work? Who said anything about work? Where's the action? I want to give myself a nip. Wait a minute, Harley boy. You're too valuable to get mixed up with all that nonsense. Yeah, you're allowed to get your hip shot off. Now forget it. Take it from me, cousin. I'm a launchman. Well, the boys are right. Well, you know, your record showed that you didn't have basic training at boot camp. We're not even supposed to let you go near a gun. What? Why, however you know, back in the Blue Ridge, I was one of the best rabbit hunters around. If this gun was loaded, I'd... Give me that gun, will you? Give me that gun. What are you trying to do? Tell us all. What do you think we are, rabbits? Hey, bro, you sprung a leaf. Oh, and that was such a good batch, too. Let's grab some of that. In. I'm sorry, friend. Here's the 20 to cover the damage. Here, let me have that. You keep your 20, Hatfield. And from now on, the only weapon I want to see in your hand is a swab. A swab? See here, Mikhail, I'm going to call my agent. Well, now, you go right ahead and do that. When you get off duty, right now, go store your gear. And fast. The rest of you guys, outside. I want to talk to every one of you. Come on, come on, you too, Gruber. Let's go. Say, Hatfield, if you do autograph this bullet hole, I could send it home to my mother. <laughs> come on. All right. Now, hear this, you guys. Now, we've been stuck with a prima donna by Captain Binghamton. But I don't want any of you buttering him up or doing him any special favors. Do you read me good? Special favors? He ruined the whole case of good booze. And you were going to give him your bunk? Here, Tariq! Hey, hey, you critters ain't ever going to win a war hugging the ground like that. Well, what do you mean by that crack? Well, I was just practicing. I threw a grenade out the back window. <laughs> I feel one more boneheaded move like that, so help me. Even your agent won't be able to help you. So I told you to pack your gear, so get moving. Move! Move! What a chicken outfit this is. <laughs> All right. What wise guy threw the grenade? Oh, gee. If tired of my cooking, just say so. You all right? Hey, the creep almost got him. Well, we got to get rid of that Harley Hatfield. Harley Hatfield is here? Why, you know him, too? Oh, sure. He's very big in Tokyo. <laughs> oh, raid that pistol down. Raid that pistol down. Tom. 
All right, all right, all right. Hold it, hold it. You want him to hear you? Now scoot out of here before he sees you. Go on, go on. But I want his autograph. Now, wait a minute, sure. A one-way ticket to a PW camp is what you want. Now go on, scram, beat it. Go on, go on. All right, Well, I know one thing for sure, boys. We got to get rid of Killer Hatfield. I'll buy yeah. that. Yeah, sure, you heard him. He ain't leaving till he bags himself a nip. Yeah, you'd think he'd settle. He almost got himself an officer. <laughs> well, I say if it takes a nip to get him back to the States, then that's exactly what we'll get him. Around here? We haven't seen any Japanese in weeks. Yeah, that's the trouble with war. There's a shortage of everything. <laughs> all right, all right. Hold it, hold it. Now, look, if we can make a five-year-old scotch out of two-day-old coconut juice, we can certainly make a nip for a hat field. Hmm? Hey, man, battle station, snip side at Moraga. Let's move out. Okay, come on, come on, let's go. Come on, Hatfield, you too. We need every man we can get. Move, will you? Yahoo! Told you, here I come. All right, boys. Okay, Chuck. Tinker should be in position by now. Now, are you sure that the men have nothing but blanks on, uh, in their guns? Yes, yeah, Skipper, sure. Okay. All right, boys, go get them. Now, Mr. Parker's in command here. Okay, Chuck, take her over. Cast off! Those skips aren't going to wait all day, you guys. Full speed ahead. Well, how's that, Skip? Well, fine, except you forgot to get on board. Yeah. Hey, wait for me! <laughs> Keep your eyes open. This is it. Kick down and watch out for snipers. Hey, I think I saw a nip over there. I'm going after it. It's all yours, Harley. And Tinker's on the job. Everything's going to according to schedule. Yeah, we'll soon have old sideburns out of our hair. <laughs> all right, who's using real bullets? Come on, get out of there. Renford, the nips are here, real nips. You're kind of overdoing it, aren't you, Tink? There aren't any real nips. <laughs> Any questions? All right, men, fire back. Pilot, pilot! What are you doing? We're loaded with blanks. Hey, we better run for it. Oh, wait a minute. Leave Hatfield here? What are we going to do with blanks? Look, we'll come back and get it. we got to get help. Oh, wait a minute, men. I'm in command here. I'll make that decision. I just made the decision. we got to get help. <laughs> Captain Binghamton. Oh, Admiral Steinholtz. How are you, sir? How's the boy? Oh, I'm all right, thank you. Not you, Harley Hatfield. <laughs> Harley Hatfield? That goon? Goon? Have you lost your mind? Well, Hatfield is the pride of the Navy Department. He sold over a million dollars worth of war bonds. He's a VIP, you know. Oh, he's a VIP. Well, I, um, I must admit, Admiral, he's one of the nicest goons I ever met. <laughs> yeah, well, if you like your job, now you hear this. I want you to have Hatfield put on a show down there tonight. I'll be there to pin on his ribbons and give him a special citation from the Navy Department. Yes, sir. I'll, uh, I'll give him the order, sir. Don't you dare order it. You ask him, and nicely. Nicely. Yes, sir. Ni ni nicely. G -g Goodbye, sir. <laughs> You mean you actually left Hatfield on Moraga with all those nips? Skip, they had real bullets. All we had were blanks. Hey, Mr. Parker's right, Skip. Oh, oh what a snafu. Well, all right, come on, let's move. We gotta load up with the real McCoy and bring him back here. Come on, let's go. Hey, Skip, Binghamton wants to talk to you. He would pick a time like this. Let me have it. McHale speaking, sir. How is my boy Harley Hatfield doing? Hatfield? Oh, he's just fine, sir. Yes, sir, just fine. Now, I don't want you to put Hatfield on any detail that might tire him. He's going to put on a show over here tonight at 1900. 
A show? Tonight? Yes, yeah, a show, tonight. Admiral Steinholz is going to decorate him. Uh, yes, sir, yes, sir. Well, I'll tell Hatfield, yes, sir. Uh, but, uh, now do you mind, sir? I do mind, and put him on the phone. I'll tell him myself. He's just taking a nap. Yes, sir. You're just a nap, yeah. Oh, yeah. And I'm sure you wouldn't want me to wake him up just to tell him there's going to be a show. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. Take a nap? Isn't that cute? <laughs> I will make sure he's covered, Mikhail. <laughs> and I have him over here tonight, 1900 on the dot. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. What a mess. Oh, what are we going to do, sir? Well, how could Hatfield put on a show if he's a prisoner? Maybe even dead. Oh, no, no. Don't say it. we we got to think positive, boys. we got to bring him back. Right, Skip, let's move out. No, no, no. No, wait a minute. No, not you, Chuck. No, you stay here with, with, with Tinker. And, and, and look, if we're not back for the show by 1900, stall him. I don't care what you do, just stall him. Come on, boys, let's move out. Oh, uh, hip singers, whatever happened to Crosby? <laughs> What's going on here, Binghamton? This show should have started an hour ago. Yeah, I don't know, Admiral. I'm just as anxious to have it get started as you are, sir. I've never seen Harley Hatfield perform. Well, neither have I. So come on, let's get going. Uh, yes, sir, Admiral. I'll check and see what's holding on. Go on, go on. You look lovely to see you, Mr. Parker. Oh, we'll never get away with it. This is desperation time. The skipper set the stall. And they're not going to sit still much longer. Yeah, but me as Harley Hatfield, that's ridiculous. Will you stop worrying? In this outfit, you almost look like him. Oh, boy, I wish I'd have gone with a skip. At least there, I'd have had a chance to get killed. Well, you relax. You mouth his words. I'll play his records. And Captain Binghamton! Well, I, mean, I hate to disturb you right now, but the Admiral's getting it. <laughs> Parker. Howdy, sir. Don't show howdy, saw me. Where is Hatfield? What are you doing in that get-up? Uh, well, uh, well, he, uh, he just... Oh, stop that. Out with it. I want the truth. Now, where is he? Where, 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 where? Well, you said... He's in the hands of the enemy. The enemy? You mean the army's got him? <laughs> the Japanese army. Oh, the Japanese. Oh, well, that I for me. The Japanese army. I won't believe that. I refuse to believe that. Well, you're not trying, sir. I'm well, not trying. I just... Sir, no violence. I think our only chance is to let Mr. Parker go out and stall until the skipper gets back with Hatfield. And deceive Admiral Steinholtz? Are you mad? Well, I guess the only thing left to do then is tell Admiral Steinholtz the truth. You know, how you railroaded Hatfield onto us. I, I, the, the show must go on, yes, I can see that now, boys. Yeah, that, but if anything goes wrong, I'll have you both boiled in oil before I'm shipped out. One of my favorites and yours. P pist <laughs> pistol poking mama. Uh, tackle picking mama. You know what I mean. <laughs> Drinking beer in a cabaret, and was I having fun? Till one night she caught me right. Holy! <laughs> now, put that pistol down. He looks a lot fatter than I expected. Too. Oh, yeah. oh, well, he's probably not wearing his elevator shoes and his girdle. <laughs> well, you know how these stars are. <laughs> I was dead. Oh, lay that pistol down, baby. <laughs> <laughs> We dig you the most. Thank you. Thank you. If I'd known you such good fans of mine, well, I wouldn't have tried to take a shot at y'all. <laughs> uh, can you sing uh, Rub Me or Reave Me or Let Me Be Rondry? I don't think I know that one. Uh, what about the Is You Is or Is You Ain't My Baby? Uh. Is You Is or Is You Ain't My Baby? Baby, 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 baby. But it seems my flame in your heart's done gone out. 
Well, he seems to lose a lot when you see him in person. Oh, I, well, I thought that was wonderful, Admiral. Well, you know, that's quite a trick, uh, imitating a broken record like that. Oh, it's very... Uh, isn't he great, man? Huh? Great, great, great. Just win your show. Great, isn't he, man? Great, great, great. Is you in or is you ain't my baby? Maybe, baby. I don't believe it. Look at him go. Well, he's got him right in the palm of his hand. We were worried about him. Probably use him to sell Japanese war bonds. <laughs> if we have anything to do with it. His baby is still my baby, true. Son, my man and I very much like to have your autograph. Sure enough, get around. Well, yeah. Hey, now's our chance, boys. Let's go get him. Oh. Oh. All right, all right, oh. get him up here, oh. boys. Oh. By golly, you've had it. Come on, get hey, him. Down take now. it easy, Mikhail. He's president of my Tokyo fan club. Oh, yeah. Fan club, you now. Come on, get moving. You got to do a show for our side tonight. Let's go. Come on, hip, hip. Come on, let's go. Oh. Hey, business is getting good. <laughs> now for my next number, I'm going to sing... Pistol Packin' Mama. <laughs> Pistol Packin' Mama? Two hours of this is all I can stand. I'm going up there and giving him a citation. Uh, just a minute there, Hatfield. Just a minute. <laughs> that was a... That was a fine show, young man, a fine show. On, be on behalf of the United States Navy, I at this time would like to thank you and shake your hand. What are you doing? I better get going. All right, believe that, both of you. Now, attention. All right, you. All right. Well, go ahead, start talking. You're not Hatfield. Who are you? Go on, speak. Speak, speak. I'm, 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 I'm Anson Parker, sir. Anson Parker? You know me. Bring him to what goes on here. I, 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 I was hoping not to have to tell you this, Admiral, but did you, there's a very simple explanation. Well, I would certainly love to hear it. So would I. Shut up. Say that pistol down, boys. Say that pistol down. Pistol pack it We just captured the Japanese patrol on Moraga Island that was spying on our shipment, sir. Oh, yeah, yes, yes, yes. Congratulations, Mikhail. <laughs> you all right, Harley? Admiral, you're looking at the man that actually deserves all the credit. We couldn't have captured them if it hadn't been for Harley Hatfield. Yes, sir. Yeah. That's right. He almost passed out just listening to me sing. I understand that already. All right, congratulations, my boy. Uh, yeah, congratulations, Harley. You showed raw courage. Well, what about me getting up here like this took a lot? Uh, okay. All right, man. Uh, let's hear it now for Harley Hatfield. Hip, hip. Hooray! Hip, hip. Hooray! Hip, hip. Hooray! 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 Thank you. Thank you. And now that I see myself some action, I really feel like singing. I'm going to entertain you all till the wee hours of the morning. Oh, no, 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 my boy. Oh, you've done enough for your country for one day. But you've been listening to him imitate me. Now you're going to hear the real thing. <laughs> Mr. Parker, let's go get me in my singing clothes. I hope you didn't stretch him none. Oh, well, that's not where you have to worry. <laughs> all right, Mikhail, take the prisoners to the compound. No, no, you don't, Mikhail. If I've got to stay here and listen to him, then they're staying, too. All right. <laughs> Prisoners, front and center, it's showtime! What? What?
bursting in here like a ninny. Harley Hatfield, sir, don't you remember his travel orders that he was being shipped here for two weeks temporary duty? Oh, Harley Hatfield, so what? So what? Why, sir, he's the number one singer in the country. <laughs> lay that pistol down, baby. <laughs> lay that pistol down, please, please. A pistol stop, packed stop, up. Man, this minute. What's the matter with you wiggling like that in front of your commanding officer? <laughs> oh, that racket out there. A little crowd is gathering to welcome Harley Hatfield. Oh, they are, huh? We'll see about that. All right, all right, all right. What's going on here? Is this a naval base or is this the stage door at the Paramount Theater? Well, that's an easy one, sir. Naval base. <laughs> what are we doing? Shutting down the war because some two-bit crooner showed up here? Oh, he's not a crooner. He swings. Haven't you ever heard him, sir? You know, lay that pistol down, baby. Lay that pistol down. Pistol. <laughs> Just stop that! All of you, stop that right this minute! Carpenter, put them all on report! All of them! Yes, sir, I will. As soon as I get his autograph. Get out of my way. Stand back here. This is your captain speaking. Mr. Hatfield, please. Carpenter, you're a disgrace. What? I'll stay here, sailor. Seaman Hatfield reporting for duty, sir. As you were. All of you. Now, this is a naval base. Howdy, ladies. I just love you. Ah! Captain, you ought to be ashamed of yourself. Don't just stand there, Mikhail. Help me with this load. <laughs> <laughs>